In this video, I talk about the Singapore University of Technology and Design. Hi, this is Kenneth and welcome to my monologue. Established in 2009 as Singapore's fourth public autonomous university, SUTD is currently located in the east next to Upper Changi MRT Station. So SUTD offers five undergraduate programs and they are all four years long. And the programs or what SUTD refers to as pillars or majors are the Bachelor of Science in Architecture and Sustainable Design, the Bachelor of Science in Design and Artificial Intelligence, the Bachelor of Engineering in Engineering Product Development, the Bachelor of Engineering in Engineering Systems and Design, and the Bachelor of Engineering in Computer Science and Design. Over the four years, students can expect to complete a total of eight terms, and this consists of a mandatory core curriculum, a variable curriculum, and an outside the classroom component focused on character building and personal growth. The first three terms are what the university refers to as freshmore, basically the amalgamation of the words freshman and sophomore, is part of a mandatory core curriculum and is common to all students. During this phase, you can expect to cover topics related to humanities, arts and social sciences, digital literacy, design thinking and innovation, and of course, science and mathematics. This is, after all, a university for technology and design. During freshmore, you'll be completing subjects with titles such as modeling space, physical world, and technological world. But don't be fooled by these names. Modeling space is actually about multi-variable calculus and linear algebra. While physical world, as the name suggests, is actually about the physics and the principles of mechanics and thermodynamics. And in technological world, you will cover topics like electromagnetism, circuit analysis, and product design. Students will also be introduced to quantum mechanics in this subject. In each of the three terms during freshmore, you need to complete a design thinking project, which is a hands-on and multidisciplinary component. And it's only after completing Freshmore that you select your majors or pillar, which will lead to one of the five programs I previously mentioned. Interestingly, in the events and information sessions I've attended and watched, the SUTD staff all mentioned that students just need to clear Freshmore and their choice of major is pretty much guaranteed. There's no prerequisites or special selection or even bidding process. Another part of the mandatory core curriculum is a capstone project. You'll be expected to spend two terms on this during your graduating year. And the cool thing about this capstone project is that you'll be collaborating with students from different majors to solve real-world challenges from SUTD's industry partners. Moving on to the variable part of the curriculum, SUTD allows students to take on specializations or focus tracks within a major. On top of that, if you enroll into the engineering degree, you have the option to take on a minor in addition to your major. So a minor is a collection of five subjects that are outside your major, which contributes to your breadth of learning. As for the staff outside the classroom, SUTD does not schedule classes on Wednesday and Friday afternoons so that students have time for fifth row. That's SUTD jargon for co-curricular activities. Also, the university claims to offer physical and virtual overseas opportunities for 100% of their students. In addition to that, there's also what SUTD calls the independent activities period. This consists of a three-week period in January and the 18-week vacation periods where students can take on internships, do research, or even teach. So the university has a very cool undergraduate teaching opportunities program where students can function as an undergraduate teaching assistant or lead student-initiated workshops. Sidetrack, this reminds me of the student-centric peer instruction teaching method popularized by Harvard University professor Eric Mazur. And it's how introductory undergraduate physics classes are taught at Harvard University. So this Harvard prof essentially realized that Sometimes a peer who recently figured out a concept might be better at bringing another peer towards understanding better than someone who has spent decades in the field. So anyway, here's what the SUTD academic calendar looks like at a glance. You might notice that the vacation period shifts around depending on what year you're in. And there's quite a bit of flexibility in the way things are run from the end of year two until you start your capstone project. For example, if you embarked on an overseas exchange during the year two vacation from September to December, you may opt to continue with an overseas internship in Term 6 or undertake a much longer internship in Year 3 from January to August. Alternatively, you could embark on an exchange only in Term 6 with the possibility of a summer overseas internship during the vacation in Year 3, which is during May to August. Then finally, the last two terms are for the capstone. Hey, thanks for watching till the end of the video. If you found value in this content, please help me out by liking the video. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications as well.